The new front line in fighting cancer is found in what's called targeted cell therapy. It's a personalized treatment where doctors can engineer a person's own immune system to fight back against the specific type of cancer in their body. It's called CAR T cell therapy and it's been very promising in fighting blood cancers. In fact, the CAR T approach is so smart that it's being looked at to fight other diseases. Dr. Krish Patel from Swedish Cancer Institute joins me now to share more about this. So let's let's dive into CAR T therapies, but for cancer specifically right now, how does it work to fight it? Yeah, so this is a form of, as you said, immune therapy. So we're taking living immune cells, often from our patient, uh, re-engineering those so they can uh, fight uh, the cancer and find it in the patient's body. And we take those uh, engineered CAR T cells, re-infuse them into our patients, and they will um, grow and multiply and create a small army of themselves to attack that patient's cancer. Now, typically a T cell, what we have in our bodies, those are the things that fight cancer, but T cells sometimes aren't strong enough, and that's why you re-engineer them, right? That's right. So for reasons that are um, varied, the T cells that are already in our body aren't quite doing that job, so they need some help. They need a little boost, and that's yeah. where y'all come in. What does treatment entail for a patient? Yeah, so treatment often occurs over a couple months. So we start with collecting that patient's immune cells, and there's a period of about three to five weeks to actually engineer the CAR T cells. And then when the CAR T cells come back to us, we'll give some chemotherapy to the patient to create the right space or the circumstances for those CAR T cells to thrive. And then we reinfuse the CAR T cells, and then patients are monitored for about a month or so after that. Oh my goodness. So when you're talking about the, the time it takes to engineer, I mean, you're literally, this is so personalized. Yes. Down to the person's just DNA? Yes, that's right, yeah. It's unbelievable. So what patients are good candidates for this therapy? Yeah, so right now the CAR T cells that we use are approved for blood cancers, mm -hmm. and they can be given for a variety of ages. There are some approved for pediatrics, and then adults, we do adult CAR T cell therapy at Swedish. Uh, patients have to be generally healthy. They generally have to have, I think, a good support system to be able to go mm -hmm. through this process. But we see patients from around the Northwest who come uh, for this therapy, and it could be useful for a wide variety of patients. So we're talking like leukemia, lymphoma, myeloma? That's exactly right, yeah. Okay. Um, in what other areas is CAR T cell therapy being used? I know that kind of the approach to it is to re-engineer these T cells to fight the receptors of the cancer. I, can it be applied to other kinds of diseases? Yeah, that's a great question. So we recognize that in some diseases, uh, the same cells that can become cancerous can cause other problems. So for example, autoimmune diseases. Mm -hmm. So we're actually doing clinical trials at Swedish to use the same approach to target autoimmune diseases like lupus or multiple sclerosis. Where there are currently no cures. That's right. That, it really is, it is world changing with this. How, how are you able to do this at Swedish? You're so busy otherwise. How does this happen? Yeah, so this happens in a lot of ways. We partner with um, folks in the biotech industry, um, but we also get a lot of support from the Swedish Foundation to mm -hmm. do this kind of research. And ultimately, we were really just trying to uh, align the needs of our patients with the work we do. So we, we do that through a lot of different mechanisms of support. You know, a lot of doctors who become oncologists, they, they want to get into the treatment. What made you decide that you wanted to go into this specific kind of, of cancer research? Yeah, great question. Um, you know, when I started in oncology, my goal was to try to cure more of my patients. Blood cancers themselves are uh, often curable with treatments, but we don't cure as many as we'd like. Yeah. And uh, research has really led us down this pathway of really precise cell engineering. And so it's um, you know, really fortunate to be able to apply this in diseases that I treat, but also uh, in those that my colleagues do. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was talking to you before about how I followed the Platt trials at Seattle Children's, and I think one of the things the doctors there had a hard time with was that cancer kept getting smarter right. and smarter and, and, and mutating around those T cells. Is that something you still deal with today, and, and how do you kind of handle that? Yeah, absolutely. So CAR T cell therapy doesn't work in all patients that we give it to, and one of the areas that we're really focused on is learning um, those circumstances where it doesn't work. Can we modify the approach? Can we target a different um, aspect of the cancer with another CAR T cell? So we often have uh, the opportunity to use that type of treatment in more than one way. So we're working continuously to try to improve that. Where do you see the future of cancer research, cancer treatment going now? 
Yeah, I think it's both a combination of really personalizing treatment, as you said, really trying to understand what does this individual patient need, and really trying to get the best balance between how well our treatments work and limiting the, the side effects or the toxicities that patients experience. So cell therapy is a really great example of that. Uh, it takes a, a lot of uh, really understanding to be able to design these treatments. Well, thank you for having that understanding and helping so many people and so lucky to have Swedish in our own backyard doing all of this work. We appreciate your time for you to, for coming here today. And to learn more about T-cell therapy as well as other treatments at the Swedish Cancer Institute right now that they're working on so many different clinical trials that you can check out, all you have to do is go to swedish.org cancer. You can see all the incredible advancements that are being made.